Whew, lighting sucks. Ah, better. Better, a little bit. Ah, who cares? Who cares about lighting? I'm going out tonight, guys. Um, I'm stoked. <laughs> the family's gone. They've gone to the mountains for the weekend to relax, and I would normally go with them because that sounds like an amazing, fun adventure, but instead I'm staying at home by myself. <laughs> Not really. I'm going out. I'm going out with some friends tonight, and then tomorrow I've had plans now for about a month to go to England for my friend's birthday. I'm really excited. Hi, Simon. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's what's happening up until Tuesday. I'll be in England, um, which is exciting. I'm always happy to travel, but I feel kind of like content to stay. Like I, I would be happy to stay here, but I, of course I'm happy to travel. I'm always happy to travel. But normally I feel like an itch, like I, I need to get out. Like it's like a compulsive a, a thing. Like I need to go. And I don't really feel that right now. I feel like I'm gonna have fun, I'm gonna have fun tonight, I'm gonna have fun in England, but um, yeah, I, I could stay and I'd, I'd be happy too. So that, that's, a, that's a good feeling. I haven't felt that in a while. Yeah. So this really sucks. I should have listened to my intuition today, but I didn't. I arrived at London Stansted and I asked the guy, I showed him my ticket and I asked him, is this the train to Leicester? And he said, yes. And so I got on, but something didn't feel right. But I kept going anyways. And a few stops later, I got off because I realized I wasn't on the right train. And now I'm having to practice what I preach and stay flexible and trying to not be too mad at myself because of it. I, you know, the positive side is I got to the station um, right before the ticket office closed, so I was able to talk to someone. Hopefully when I get back to the airport, they'll be able to reissue me another ticket for free. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, but who knows? So I'm, yeah, I'm really pissed right now. <laughs> I know it doesn't, maybe it doesn't seem like that, but in my head I am spewing all sorts of profanities that I'm spare you from, but this sucks. And um, yeah, I hate being late and I hate I hate missing my, my trains. I hate paying more money than I have to. So all three things that happened today, it's not a good day. <laughs> Originally known as Leicester, <laughs> or Leicester, however you pronounce it. Originally, it was a Native American settlement in the 21st century. <laughs> uh, it later evolved into a Indian settlement, where many of the Indian Polish community set up solariums, like you see here. Oh, so as we see, this one has a Halloween theme. What's a solarium? The solarium is, look at this guy, can't drive. <laughs> Wanker! <laughs> We're now coming to the bottom of Foss Road North. In Roman times, this was called Fus Rud North. <laughs> and now it's just called Foss Road North. I don't buy any of this. This is all... <laughs> we are now driving down the same road. That's Fus Lane, or now Foss Lane. <laughs> now we go straight on this road here, and as you see here, we have a typical Leicester person on his phone. <laughs> oh, and, I missed it. Uh, we're now pulling up to some traffic lights. Now, in England, the red is a stop sign. It will then go on to amber to prepare, and then green to go. <laughs> now, in America, I think they just have stop signs everywhere. No, 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 they have yellow. Because they don't understand how They do the yellow to work. slow down after, oh, okay. yeah. So they have red, soon. amber, and green. Like we do here. Except we don't call it amber. Amber. What do you call it? <laughs> Yellow. Yeah. It's amber. It's bloody amber. <laughs> and it's petrol, not gas, all right? No, no it's gas. <laughs> Gosh. It's not gas when you put it in. It's petrol. All right? Oh. And it's a bonnet, okay. not a hood. Simon obviously has a lot of <laughs> anger issues. <laughs> it's a boot, not a trunk, all right? Okay, yeah. 
There's differences. Oh, and it's a fanny, not a... It's a... <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm in England now with my friend Simon, right there. Um, and everything worked out perfectly. <laughs> I, I missed my train because I was given bad information yesterday, and I ended up having to backtrack and go back to the airport. And because it was their fault, they offered to fix it, and at that time, there wasn't any more trains going to Leicester, and so they got me a taxi, and <laughs> um, they paid for the taxi, which was like 200 quid, which was like really generous, and it dropped me off exactly like door to door, like where I needed to go. So it was perfect, and it all worked out for the best, and like it always does, and uh, now I'm hanging out with friends. We, we had Simon's birthday party last night, which was fun. Whoop. Woo! And Emmerdeen's here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and yeah, we're all just having a good time, soaking up my two and a half days here before I get back to Spain. I've come all the way to Leicester, England, just for the Indian sweets because they're so good. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna be in our belly. <laughs> I'm in Nottingham, England, with my good friend Stephanie here. Ciao, Bella! <laughs> Going ice skating with our other friend, <laughs> Simon, because it's my favorite activity to do. I can't talk with an English accent, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Sad, trying, but. Come watch scuba skating because we've all, well, Steph's on her phone. <laughs> we've all been inspired, aspiring figure skaters at some point in our lives. Now we're just watching them in jealousy. Good legs, good legs, good legs, good legs. Good legs.